What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. Right? So as usual my people, I have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So I just gonna get right in at the first thing that I'm gonna share with you guys, right? Man killing Mount Salem 48 hours after curfew ended. G-U-N men S-H-O-T and killed a 34-year-old man in Mount Salem, St. James this morning, just 48 hours after a curfew ended. Mount Salem remains under a zone of special operations, which brings increased police and military presence and social service providers. This morning, shootings occurred at approximately 9 a.m. The DC Sanjay Rankin from a Crawford Street address was reportedly transporting sand in a wheelbarrow near his home when he was SHOT. He was employed to a popular restaurant and entertainment center in Montego Bay. The le at least three residents have been SHOT over the last three weeks, forcing the police to restrict movements in the community. Jaja. So, some more are going in a one place named Salt Spring in a St. James and one next place named when you um something on that hill right and they saw the two look at you them get killed and the man last night so that 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 the car in here you know look like say is a different vibes are going over in our different community come on see them I want bad community to you know people. You see me? So I don't know if this man involved in or nothing. Or them man yeah. Community and community in a war. A man just see a man and call him up. So leave your comment in the comment section people. Police pursuing strong leads in St. James triple murder. Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson says there are strong leads pointing to the identity of the perpetrators in Monday's Triple M U R D E R in St. James. He was speaking at a press briefing at the Salt Spring Primary and Infant School this afternoon. He, however, would not expound on the information. The M U R D E R continues to be at the center of much debate locally and in the diaspora as families mourn the DEATH of two schoolboys aged 7 and 9 who were among the victims. The boys who were students at the Chetwood um, Memorial Primary School in Montego Bay were on their way home from school when the taxi they were traveling in was attacked. A man by the name of Tevin Romano was the other victim we will continue to, to deploy persons in the various places and this is said jano i hope them find whoever responsible for them two school picnic can up and drop out so may i say so them i say it look like say the man will get can up and drop out he was the target but through the school you them in at the vehicle you know what i mean them become victim of casualties you see it, so R.I.P. to them and condolences to the families. Jano. Search underway for missing British man in Ballard's Valley, St. Elizabeth. So, the person who may attack about people, in picture them on the thumbnail, seeing a him them a search for. A search and rescue operation is underway on Tuesday to locate a 60-year-old British man who police say got lost during a nature walk in the Ballard's Valley area near Junction, St. Elizabeth on Sunday. The man, said to be a diabetic, arrived on the island on Friday and was reportedly staying with his brother. The senior citizen reportedly told relatives that he was going for a nature walk. Our news team understand that he last communicated with relatives about 1 p.m. on Monday to say he got lost. All subsequent efforts to contact him have reportedly failed. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto said citizen of Ballard's Valley, the Jamaica Defence Force 
airway and the canine division are assisting in the search we have always gone through miles of terrain and the search is still ongoing as we continue our efforts to locate this individual mentor said why people you see them foreign i am a while no for them too adventurous some of the time you know you see it this man he maybe come from the area you know people but been away from jamaica for quite some time so because a long time him now you know what i mean take a look at work i don't know how most of the foreign country them stay pure building no look at nature channel did it you see me and the hustle and bustling for guy work and come home you know have the time for really relax and you know what i mean enjoy your environment and the places them not did it so enough people will come from in the country area when them come back they want to feel a look a look of nature there. you understand so this man maybe him know the place you know but through a long time him now make to work or something him end up go take good as a wrong road and get lost in the bush and them same diabetic so you know same can drop down in the bush there too you understand i hope them find him still before it too late because of from monday evening them said them last talk to him in the 1 p.m them say in the midday seeing i know a tuesday and in the evening so i hope them find him or him find him way back out of the bush you see me i say to all of the people them the foreigners them man you know careful yeah man you know be careful carry somebody with you when you know make them the chat the bridging when you know the place you see me i say so guys leave your comments in the comment section right so moving on my people manchester family finds dead man in front yard a family from bonito we in mandeville manchester woke up to find but the body of a man in their front yard tuesday morning the body which was found after residents reportedly hearing explosions monday night is believed to be that of ferran who is reportedly from a grantham address in clarindon information reaching our news team indicated that around 8 or 7 pm monday residents heard loud explosions in the area and summoned the police the police reportedly visited the area but did not observe anything irregular following a search the police said no one was seen in the area around 7 a.m on tuesday police said occupants of a premises and bonita we awoke and saw the body of the now deceased lying face down in their front yard and called the authorities police arrived and saw the lifeless man with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the upper body the scene was processed and the body removed to the mark pending a post-mortem examination two spent casing were seen at a section of bonita crescent the police said jaja so them said this man come from clarendon them no say if him have family or relative in a manchester or nothing like that right so me i wonder if a mission him go pan and them can him up or wagwan so people more you leave your comments in the comment section remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel and also give this video a thumbs up right so bless upon yourself and thanks for watching